welcome back in this part we will retrieve our all job post data from firebase database so now you import on start method and now we need to add firebase recycle adapter and first one is our model class name and our second one is our view holder class and inside this parameter we need to add our model class our layout our dot layout dot all job post and our view holder class and last one is our database name that is our m all job post now inside this popular view holder we need to add all this method so view holder dot set job title model dot get title and view holder dot set job date model dot get date and view holder dot set job description model dot get job description and view holder dot set job skills model dot get skills and view holder dot set job salary model dot get salary all right now this recycler view dot set adapter is going to be adapter now run this application so now we need to log in so h8 at the rate And we need to add password. Password is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now if we go to this see all job post activity, now if we go to this post a job activity, now we will see our own job, but and if i go to the see all job post right now we can't see any job post but we can see our card view but we can't see any data and the reason is that and the reason is that we did not define a public database so that we can retrieve all user data here so for doing this we when we insert our data we need to insert it inside our uh, we need to insert it on a public database so create one more database reference inside insert job positivity so create we can call it private public database private database reference is going to be public we can call it m public database and public database and we need to write here m public database is equal to firebase database so firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child And in here we need to write our public database name we can call it public database and at the end we don't need to add any user id because we will retrieve all user id so we don't need to add any uid at the end now ins inside this inside job post method inside our button job button post job set on click listener i insert our m job post and in here we need to insert it to our firebase public database so we can call it M public database so M public database dot we can directly add set value first add child and child should be this ID and set value is going to be our data so we need to add this line of code now we are ready to do this okay so make sure that you edit this
okay so this is our m job post dot child and m public database dot child and set fellow now we can run our app so if we go to this all job activity and in here we need to change our uh, database name so we are now in, we will insert our data in here from our public database that is that was name is public database so now remove this all this database Now we can run these steps. Now we can log in. So h8 at the rate gmail.com. And password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Done and click this login button now we can we success login now we can we need to post a job so now post a job now we can now post a new job so we can call it ios and job description we can call it and we can call it we need ios we can call it we need ios developer and in this case we can call it swift and we need to add salary 80k now click this post a job button and now we can see our title, our date, our description, our skills and our salary. Now if we go back to this see all job post, now we will see our job post here. Uh, even other user can see this job post. Now we can see this job post. So now we successfully insert our two database and we successfully type it. Now we can see we have two database. One is job post and one is public database. Okay. So I think that's enough for this part. Still we need to solve some design issue and some other stuff. So we will solve it one by one in our next part. So make sure that you are following me step by step. Okay. So we successfully retrieve our data. So that's it for this part.